Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the voltage regulator IC787805 and in this video we will talk how to get um, output of 8 volts and 10 volt from 7805 IC. So in this video uh, and this is achievable by adding a resistance to the second pin of 7805. I will show you a little schematic. So we know that 7805 I got three pins. So the first pin is the input and the second pin is the ground and the third pin is the output. This is 7805. So how to get um, say for example a normal method like we use a filter capacitors to get a pure DC output, stable output. So it can be like 4 microfarad or 10 100 microfarad. So this can be like 100 microfarad as well. So um, the point is how to get if you are supplying a tool hold, if you have a tool hold source here, DC hold source here, and how to get 8 volts or 10 volts from 7805. The trick is so simple, like all we have to do is like we have to add up a resistor. Say for example, if I am adding up a 1 kilo ohm resistor, if I add up a 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm resistor, my output, my output is going to be 8 volt. And if I add a 2 kilo ohm resistor, my output is going to be, my output is going to be, if it is for 2K, my output is going to be 10 volt. And if I am adding a 1K resistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor, my output is going to be 8 volts and this this method you can use it in a simple circuitry where you have a very minimal load and you need to have a good heat sink with 7805 so it's a little trick that you can you can use in case if you have like if you need a 10 volt or 8 volt supply and you have like only 7 5 volt in your shelf like how to how to get it worked on so we have seen this now in, in, in whiteboard. We will see this in a practical, we will do a practical experiment with, the, with following this protocol and see what, what is the achievable voltage we are going to get. Uh, we have seen this, um, how to achieve 7805, 6 volts, I mean 8 volt and 10 volt using 7805. In this video, we will, just, we will just do this and experiment the practical stuff and see how we go. So, basically, initially, I will set this up as a normal normal wiring so that we can see it will give only 7805. And this this is a 4 microfarad and this bit fat because it's a higher voltage rating. I got only this at the moment. So, we will just wire this up as a normal way without adding any resistance to the pin number two so by this way you'll be able to see it's going to give only five volts with the 12 volt input source so let's try and this is pin number one i'm hooking it to the capacitor this is going to be my input point for a 12 volt power supply source This is going to get grounded and output pin I'm not going to put any filter capacitor bypass filter capacitor because anyway it's a pure DC source that I have and this is for just an explanation of practical explanation for you guys to see by adding up one kilo ohm resistors we will be able to achieve eight volts from 7805 instead of five volts so it's all set let's let's try so so this pin number two i have just grounded it and i have not added any resistors so we are going to get five volts from 7805 as we know so i'm just hooking this up with the 12 volt source 
the doable source. And okay, let me have a doable source. And then we will check the input supply. It's going to be like 12 volt. You can see it's it's running to old. I don't know, I just not test it properly. There we go. Come on. Say so it's to old. Input supply. And the output is going to be 5 volt because I wired it wired it in, in a way so I'll just hold this here <coughs> because I wired it in a, non, in a normal way so it's going to be like um, 5 volt because I have not added the resistance now we will what we'll do is that we will add a 1 kilo ohm resistor and see we'll add a 1 kilo ohm resistor and see we will be able to achieve 8 volts so so this is the pin number 2 I'm just adding a 1 kilo ohm resistor to it so I'm just adding 1 kilo ohm resistor so, so when I add 1 kilo ohm resistor my output is going to be approximately 8 volts so if you can see, as I said, it's giving up 8 volts. So that's 7805 giving you 8 volts, gentlemen, with a 1 kilo ohm resistors in between the ground, in between the pin number 2 and the ground. So now we will add 2 kilo ohm resistors in series and see if we will be able to achieve 10 ohms. I mean, 10 volts sorry about that so it's already one kilo ohm resistor here already you can if you guys can see I'm just zooming in I've added one kilo ohm resistor in series I'm putting one more resistor so resistance in series gets had up if I put two one kilo ohm resistors in series it's gonna be like two kilo ohms so I'll just add up one more resistors in series and then I'll look up pin number two so it's like pin number two comes into two kilo ohm resistors and then goes to the ground so now it's like two kilo ohm resistors with this and now we should be able to get around 10 volts so I'll just zoom out so that you can see my multimeter so I've added two kilo ohm resistors in between pin number two and the ground now my voltage should be like around 10 volts so if you can see it's like 10 volt 10.7 10 uh, based on the tolerance of the resistance it just changes so this is a gentleman so if you want to get like so if you so this is it like if you want to get like uh, 8 volt and 10 volt from 7805 this is the simplest way that you can do and this is all about this video just for example if you have this video is a little trick like if you have only 7805 in your shelf and then you need a 8 volt or 10 volt if you're building some project or circuit if it is like minimal load then you can go ahead and try this trick it works it works it works for well I have tested it before but it's not not advantage it doesn't take advantage of using a higher load because we are using resistance and we will have power heat heat dissipated dissipated and the energy will get lost in that way so if it is a minimal load anything simple if it is a simple drive security which doesn't take much hampier then you can very well go and do this method so this is all about it gentlemen thank you very much for watching this video we'll see you in next video soon